I just want to say that my makeup looks better on the Snapchat cam. Do you, can we get into this? Look down. Look up. Smiles. Smile. my channel so today I have a very different tutorial I have not done a smoky eye and a nude lip let alone with color on the lid with glitter in such a long time I want to say it's been about a year since I've done one but I am back full force for the holidays and for the new year with a very smoky tutorial so I wore this um, look to an event and it was highly requested by a fellow youtuber named Jacqueline Hill I put I posted this, I wore this jingle ball, and I posted this picture with Manny right here, and I immediately got a text, I think 10 minutes later, after I posted it, and literally she was like, what are you wearing on the lid? And I was like, um, I'm wearing this new pigment from Make Beak, and she was like, you have to do a tutorial, and when the queen, Jacqueline Hill, requests you to do a tutorial, you freaking do it. So I hope you enjoyed this tutorial, Jacqueline, I hope she's watching, I mean, but nonetheless, I I was just playing around with pigments that Manny had and I finally got them in and I'm just so happy that um, I get to do something different because I have been doing either like a dark lip or a mauve lip. I haven't done a nude lip in so long and it's just so different for me but that night I just wanted to beat my face and try something different. So here it is, this tutorial for you guys, for you Jacqueline, for everyone out there. Just remember, it's makeup, change it up, the makeup comes off, it doesn't matter if you're a boy, if you're a girl, if you're a man, if you're a woman, if you're a child, an adult, makeup comes off, just make sure to wash your face at night, but just remember to be yourself, love yourself, and be who you want to be. So this is me, this is Patrick Star. if you like this video, give this video a thumbs up, be sure to comment and subscribe, let me know what you guys want to see next. If you guys have any requests, please let me know, thank you Jay Hill for uh, requesting this look, I love you guys so much, and let's get right into the tutorial. Tutorial. Hi guys, so the first thing that I'm going to start off with is this Nivea aftershave balm. I just shaved, so I'm going to apply this all over the face to moisturize my skin and also prime. Next, I'm going to take this new foundation by Marc Jacobs. It is remarkable and it is a full coverage and I am in the color Honey Deep. This foundation is really pigmented, so you do not need a lot. And I'm just going to blend that with a duo fiber brush. It's a little bit yellow for me, but I'm gonna make it work. If you guys wanna see a series on my favorite full coverage foundations, let me know because you know me, I love full coverage. I'm gonna add a little bit of the Dior Air Flash to neutralize this because it is a little bit too yellow for me, but I love the finish. Next, I'm gonna take my Urban Decay Concealer and conceal my face like I always do. Next, to brighten up my concealer, I'm going to use Shy Beam by Benefit. Next, I'm going to take my G2 brush by Morphe and blend it all out. Next, I'm going to take the Medium Anastasia Cream and Contour Kit, and I'm going to take Cinnamon and Chocolate and lightly contour my face. I'm not going to do no streaky lines now. So next I'm going to puff my face and I'm going to take Laura Mercier, put this under the eyes and I'm going to take my air spit and use it around the face. It's just a preference. I have both of them but I prefer this just under my eyes because it's brighter and it's a lot thinner than the air spun. I promise it will look better. Promise. I apologize we are way too close for HD so if I am too scary for y'all, y'all can butt me down to 340 instead of 1080. If I am on your television, I do apologize for this up close shot. But moving on to the eyes, I'm going to take Burnt Orange by Anastasia on an E40 brush by Sigma and I'm going to brush this into the crease. This is one of my favorite colors by Anastasia. You guys can get it in a single shadow. This texture or saddle by MAC is great. I love the shadow, burnt orange. I'm still gonna add a little bit more burnt orange until I get the transition that I want. Blend till your hand falls off. Next, I'm gonna take the shadow by Anastasia on the self-made palette called Buttery, and I'm gonna take this on an M433 brush, and I'm going to highlight my brow bone. 
Yes, brow bone. Next, I'm gonna take this new shade by Makeup Geek. It's their new matte colors called Morocco. It's a very orange shade, and I'm gonna buff this into the crease, a little bit lower than my transition color. It's so pigmented. And this is called Morocco. Next, I'm gonna take this shade by Makeup Geek called Americano on an M433 brush by Morphe, and I'm gonna buff this into the crease to create a dark chocolate cut crease. Very soft though, very soft, very natural. <laughs> she has eyeshadows called Morocco and Americana. I wonder if she has an eyeshadow called Philippines. Come through Makeup Geek. Ooh. You guys can just honestly stop here and add whatever color lid you want. For the sake of the Jaclyn Hill request, I am gonna add a teal color to the lid. But you can add blue, green, red, yellow would look great, but this is just a nice combination of eyeshadows, so you can use any pop of color on the lid that you want. Next, I'm gonna take this ColourPop cream gel called Zulu, and it's a seafoam pastel green, and I'm going to apply this as a base on my lid for the bright color. Next, I'm gonna take this matte eyeshadow by Makeup Beat called Dragonfly. It is a very pretty Princess Jasmine looking color, so I'm gonna apply this on top of that base. The eyeshadow is coming out a little bit green on camera, but I promise it's teal. <laughs> but I'm going to take this Makeup Geek gl new glitters called Solstice and Martian with my Lit Cosmetics Adhesive, and I'm going to mix the two together and apply this all over my lid. So I ended up using the Solstice pigment more so than the other one because I wanted to get that light teal look. As you can see, the dark green is gone because I used a dark base, so this allowed the glitter to shine through. I swear to Jesus, this is the hardest part ever, trying to get this liner. Oh my god. I know it's really big, but I mean, whatever. Oh my god! How does Jacqueline do this? This is the longest liner of life. Pray. Praise Jesus, hallelujah, I am done with my eyeliner. I promise it will look better with lashes. So I'm gonna curl my lashes with my Shoot You More Curler and apply my New Bounce and lashes. So as I wait for these to dry, these are Bella's by New Bounce and I'm gonna stack a second pair Doha by Lily Lashes for that dramatic effect. You know, we can't just stop right here. Come through second pair. Yeah. Come through. Since I have so much going on on the top of my eyes, I'm going to take Morocco by Makeup Geek, the same shadows that we use on the top, and smoke out the bottom lash line. Next, I'm gonna take Americano and smudge it closer to the lash line. Last but not least, I'm gonna take this gel eyeliner by ColourPop called Swerve and line the bottom waterline. Swerve! Oh, it's so sexy, I haven't done it in so long. Put black in my eye. So I smoked my bottom lash line as much as I could and now I'm going to apply my favorite mascara, extended plate on my bottom lashes. Next I'm going to take my Makeup Forever Pro Finish Powder and knock off the Airspun and the Laura Mercier Powder and complete this beat face. Next I'm going to take my Mineralized Skin Finish in the color Dark Deep and contour my face using the Morphe M527 brush. Don't forget you can use P-Star in the store at Morphe in Burbank or online. Obviously I'm going to snatch my nose next using the same color with my e.l.f. fan brush. Next, I'm gonna take the Mary Luminizer and highlight my nose and my cupid's bow. I'm not gonna highlight my cheeks today. I'm just gonna blush and keep the center focus on my eyes. Come through rhinoplasty. Yes. For blush, I'm gonna take my favorite blush, Captivating by Tarte. It's a Tarte Amazonian clay blush and I'm gonna use this all over my cheeks. For brows, I'm going to use this browsing by Benefit and I'm gonna take this brow powder and use it towards the front and the wax and use it towards the outside. Last but not least for the lips, I'm going to take Lip Land Cream Corset by Samantha and Undressed Lip Gloss by Anastasia lined with World Lip Liner by MAC. Ooh, this smells like cake! Oh my god, this smells so good. Mmm, come through cake batter. It smells like cake batter. Ooh, that smells so good. Come through Anastasia, I see you. And this is the finished look, you guys. I hope you guys enjoy this fierce 
tutorial by yours truly, Patrick Star. If you like these types of tutorials, give this video a thumbs up. Thank you to Jaclyn Hill for personally requesting this look via text. And for all you guys, try this look again. Don't be afraid to wear makeup. Be yourself. If you guys like these videos, give this video a thumbs up. Please subscribe to my channel, you guys. I love you guys so much, and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye. Next, I'm gonna take this new Marc Jacobs. What is this called? Next, I'm gonna take this new foundation by Marc Jacobs, full cover found. It's like a pastel seafoam green. Green, blah, 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 blah.